Dr. Vijay Lakshmi is working as a professor in the department of ECE, Anna University, Chennai. She has more than 17 years of experience in teaching. She has published more than 90 papers in international and national journals and conferences. She has organized more than 10 workshops and has attended more than 40 workshops and seminars. She has guided more than 100 projects in both UG and PG level. She is supervising 14 research scholars. She has established an AICTE sponsored MODROB project for VLSI lab. She has an endowment award for the top rank holder in PG degree and has four cash awards for producing 100 percentage of result in Anna University curriculum. She is a life member in various professional bodies like ISTE and IETE. She has specialized in mobile communication, microprocessor and microcontroller, digital system, computer networking and neural networks. Welcome to UGC lecture series BSc Electronics Harness Electronics Practical 9 8085 Microprocessor Programming. In today episode we will discuss about 16 bit multiplication. So how to perform multiplication in 8085? there is no direct multiplication instruction in 8085 so we have to use the repeated addition or consecutive addition but the data is 16 bit addition should be performed with the accumulator right accumulator size is 8 bit so how to initialize the 16 bit into accumulator so with the help of accumulator we could int do the multiplication that is the 16 bit consecutive addition right so we have to use the special instruction which is dad register pad that is dad dad instruction we have to use for 16 bit multiplication so i will explain how to multiply 16 bit by 8 bit okay 16 bit suppose i am taking 0179 which is multiplied with 12 okay So what is the meaning of that the 0179 should be this two or hexadecimal number it should be added 12 times so 0179 0179 is added then the result is again added with 79 0179 then it is added with 0179 till 12 times we have to add it right so we are adding two 16 bit number so how to start the process means this should be loaded in one of the register pair suppose i am taking this as a hl register pair this is as a de register pair so with the help of dad instruction right suppose i am giving the instruction dad d so what will happen the hl register pair content is added with the de register pair then the result is stored in the hl register pair so this is a way then this hl resultant is again added with 0179 so this data 16 bit data or the multiplicand should be loaded in register pair the multiplier should be loaded in the any one of the general purpose register okay so this way how to initialize the data in the register 16 bit data which is a multiplicand to be loaded in any one of the register pair the 8 bit data which is multiplier to be loaded in any one of the general purpose register so in 8085 the register pairs are three that is hl register pair de register pair and bc register pair general purpose registers are six registers which are h l d e b and c okay so while selecting that if you are selecting the two register pair the remaining re register pair can be used as any one of the 8 bit register so this is the concept of multiplying 16 bit by 8 bit the 16 bit multiplicand is added with the 8 bit multiplier times so i have to select the register pair lxi d comma the 16 bit multiplicand which is 0 1 7 9 h 
then I have to initialize the multiplier m v i b comma 12 h. So, after initializing what is the logic? The multiplicand should be added with the multiplier time. So, I have to, I could not use the accumulator for addition, I have to use only the HL register pair. So, before starting the addition, I have to clear the HL register pair. Okay. So, LXI H, 0, 0. Now, I have to use the DAD instruction DAD D. So, what is the meaning of that? The HL register pair content is added with the DE register pair, the result is stored in the HL register, right? Okay, one time is added. Then I have to decrease the B register. So, the process to be continued till the B register reach 0. If it is not reach 0 means we have to continue the process, the addition. The resultant previous resultant is added with 0, 0179, then the result is added with 0, 0179, continue till B reach 0. Once B reach 0 means now the result in HL register pair. So, with the help of SHLD instruction, you can store the result at 4300 H. Then stop the program. Okay. This is the concept of 16 bit by 8 bit multiplication. Now, convert this program into opcode. I take the address as 4200. So, now write the opcode for LXID which is 1 1, then operand should be first lower operand, then higher operand 7901. So, 3 address leave it 4203, 0 1 2 3. Now, write MVIB, MVIB is 0 6, operand is 1 2, then 4 2 0 5, 3 and 4 for uh, these two opcode, 4 2 0 5 LXI H, LXI H is 21, then write the lower byte, then higher byte. So, 3 address 4 2 0 8, 5 6 7 8, here we have to give the instruction for opcode for DAD D, DAD D is 1 9, it is a single byte instruction. So, next address is 4209 DCRB which is 05, 420A is jump on no 0, uh, opcode is C2, then where to switch over for the DAD instruction which is 0842, then 4203 address leave it A, B, C, you write it D. SHLD which is 22, then 0043. So, DEF next address is 4210 which is 76. Okay. Now, we have converted into opcode sheet. Now, enter this program into kit and check the answer. Now, we will type the multiplication program 16 bit by 8 bit that is 0, 0179 into 12. So, I will start to type the program 4200 which is 117901 06 12 21 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 Next 22 0, 0, 4, 3. Next 7 6. Next few address clear it. So, before executing, check the program once again. So, 1179 0, 01 0, 06 12 21 0, 0, then 1905 C2 08 42 22 0, 0, 43 76. Now, reset go starting address 4200 execute. So, what is the expected answer reset? So, take the resultant value sub 4000 
three hundred. Next, so the answer is eighty to one a. Now discuss another example. While multiplying the two numbers, that is sixteen bit by eight bit. So sixteen bit is a multiplicand. Eight bit is a multiplier. So based on the size or based on the input value, after multiplying, the result may be sixteen bit or twenty four bit. So the previous program suitable for the result is sixteen bit. Now we'll check, we'll write the program for. When the resultant bit is twenty-four bit, how to carry the result? So the twenty-four bit is sixteen bit will be loaded in the Hutchell register pair. The remaining eight bit we have to use it, name it as a carry. So we have to initialize one more register to hold the carry. This eight bit to be checked with the carry flag whether it is set. The eight-bit register content is increased. Otherwise, simply continue with the addition, right? So, after multiplying the sixteen bit by eight bit, the result may be twenty-four bit. If the result is twenty-four bit, means with the help of DAD instruction, we are performing the addition of two sixteen bit data. So, automatically the sixteen bit lower values will be loaded in the Hutchell register pair. The exceeding size, which is overflow. Should be carried by initializing one of the register. Here I am using the accumulator. So with the help of accumulator, I can use eight bit. With the help of Hutchell register pair, I can use the or I can hold the resultant sixteen bit. So totally the twenty four bit will be loaded in accumulator and Hutchell register pair. Now, now I have a plan to write the program seven one seven eight into twenty five. Okay. So LXI D comma the sixteen bit data, which is multiplicand value seventy one seventy eight, then initialize eight bit data, which is a multiplier in B register. Okay, now I have to initialize the register accumulator because to hold the carry value. Right. So before starting the addition, I have to clear the Hutchell register pair. So this for clearing the purpose. First two is initializing the input multiplicand and multiplier. The next one is for carry. Third one is clearing before starting the process. Okay. Now I will start to write the program. So dad D. So the DE register pair will be added with the Hutchell register pair. The result is stored in the Hutchell. So after addition, now I am checking whether the carry is occurred or not. If no carry means, I will continue the process as decreasing the multiplier till reaching the zero value. I will repeat the process. Okay. If carry is occur means. That is when the carry flag is set, then I have to increase the register, which is accumulator. Okay, so I am continuously adding. When the carry is occur, I will increase the A register, then decrease the multiplier, then repeat the process. So the loop will be repeatedly used till B reach zero. So once B reach zero, it will exit from the loop. Now what I have to do? I have to store the result. So already the lower sixteen bit values, which is in the Hutchell register, so I will use SHLD instruction, which is I take a four thousand three hundred will store. That is L value in four thousand three hundred, H value in four thousand three hundred and one. So automatically it will increase. Then the higher eight bit data, which is in accumulator, I directly use STA. Four thousand three hundred and two. Okay, twenty-four bit. So first eight bit is loaded in three hundred. Then second eight bit. Then third eight bit. 
which is in 4302 that is accumulated value this is the third 8 bit data so totally 24 bit resultant value so after storing that we have to stop the program HLT so here you have to keep in mind how we are selecting the address the lower byte should be in lower address higher byte should be in higher address ok do not give 4300 for accumulator so now convert this program into opcode for uh, executing into the kit so take the address as 4200 LXID this is a 3 byte instruction so first we have to write the opcode for LXID which is 11 then give the operand lower byte operand first 78 then higher byte operand 71 leave 3 address then take uh, 4203 write opcode for MVIB which is 06 then 25 this is a 2 byte instruction so leave 2 address now take uh, next address 05 now write MVIA which is 3E then operand is 00 then leave 2 address you take uh, 4207 take LXIH which is 21 then give lower byte then higher byte this is a 3 byte instruction so leave uh, 3 address 4207 8 9 then 10 is written as A now we have to write the opcode for dad D dad D is 19 this is a single byte instruction then 420B here we are checking the carry so jump on no carry is D2 D2 leave to address later enter so b c d then new address is e in e i have to write inr a which is 3 c then this is a single byte instruction so next address is 0 f dcr b is 0 5 after uh, dcr b this is a single byte instruction so the next address is 4 to 1 0 so now write JNZ which is C2 then where to switch over to the DAD instruction which is in 19 right. So this address I have to write so first lower byte then higher byte. So here if carry is occur where to switch over that is carry is occur it will execute the next instruction no carry means it come to this instruction right. So which is DCRB so I have to write first lower then higher byte. So, leave 3 address for uh, jump on no 0 that is 10, 11, 12 the next new address is 13. So, 13 SHLD which is 22 then lower address higher address. So, leave uh, 3 address so it becomes 6, 3, 4, 5, 1, 6. Now, write STA which is 32 then lower address is 0, 02, higher address is 43. Leave uh, 3 address that is 6, 7, 8, then 1, 9, which is 76. Okay. So, this way you convert the program into opcode. Now, we will enter this program into the kit to verify the answer. Now, we execute the 16 bit by 8 bit with the carry. Now, we will uh, execute the program 7178 into 25. So, we will start to type the program sub 4200. 11, 78, 71, 06, 25, 3E, 0, 21, 0, 0, 1, 9, D, 2, next 0, F, next 42, next 3C, next 0 5 c 2 0 a 42 22 0 43 32 0 2 43 76 so once again i will check the program 4200 one one seven eight seven one zero six two five three e zero twenty one zero zero one nine d two zero f forty two 
3C05, C2, 0A, 42, 22, 0, 4300, 32, 0, 2, 3, okay. Now reset, go 4200, execute. Reset, check the answer at 4300, which is 58, 66, 10. So, this is the answer 586610. Summary in today episode, we have discussed about multiplication of 16 bit by 8 bit. So, after multiplying the resultant may be 16 bit data or 24 bit. In case of 16 bit data, the result is stored in HL register pair which is named as without carry. When the result is exceeding than 16 bit, the higher bytes which are loaded in the accumulator register. So, here we are using the accumulator and HL register pair to hold the 24 bit. So, this is we name it as with the carry. With the carry represents it exceeding the size. The two programs were uh, explained and executed in the kit. Questions? Why we LXI H, 0, 0 instruction used in the program? Which flag is affected during the execution of DC or B instruction? Dad A is it valid instruction Y? Thank you.